All right, so I don't want to waste any of this excess, all this good stuff. So in the comments, you guys don't like wasting, so I'm not going to waste. And to be honest, I should be ashamed of myself for wasting when there's a lot of hungry, hungry hippos out there and children. All right. I have one cup of my own chicken broth that I seasoned myself. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? Next up, I have some rich and flavored chicken broth. So I'm going to just open this up. I'm going to get two more cups. One. Two. I have my little mixer, so we're just gonna go over here. Mix the thing of chicken with my own chicken broth just for flavor because we are going to add some thing that needs seasoning so I season it myself blend that up real good just like that go ahead and move this up on over here next up I have some minute white rice we're going to just go put this through one more. So for every one cup of chicken broth that we put, I put a cup of rice over here. Just mix this all up in here, just like that. It's gonna soak up. It's gonna soak up good. Next up, I have some pre-cooked chicken. So I'm gonna just dive in like that. And we can blend this up as well. It's gonna be a one pan wonderland, super easy, cost efficient, and tastes amazing. Uh oh, some chicken fell out. Again, I did pre cook this, and from that, the chicken broth that I made with this chicken. I saved a cup of that. Next up, I have some green peas and diced carrots. It's super important, ladies and gentlemen, to get your vegetables in. It is super important, so we're just going to want to... Just like that. Put the, uh, that whole bag. Uh oh, don't want to waste. There's some hiding from me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move that across just like that. Next up, I have some mushrooms. I'm gonna put some mushrooms all across. Again, this is a one pan wonderland. Put this out away from me. All right. And then, I almost forgot, I got some cheese. I got some Mexican style four blend cheese. I'm gonna open that up. Sprinkle some. Good cheese all over this good stuff. It's gonna taste delicious. And then let me throw some Garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash. All right. So I'm gonna get some foil off camera. I'm gonna put the foil on, and we're gonna put this in the oven at 375 for a good 45 minutes. All right, everyone. It smells delicious in here. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot that it was in the oven, so hopefully it is not burnt. It smells the aroma in here. Let's just go ahead and show it. Ooh. Dang. That's good. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Definitely smell those good mushrooms. Where do we start? 
And let's go right here. This nice, hot, juicy corner. Whoa, look at the, oh, it is soft. The rice is soft. Look at the chicken and the vegetables. Whoa, my mouth just got so watery. Got a little bit of everything. I know, it's hot. If there's a faster version of blowing, you just go. Wow, let me tell you about that rice. That rice is seasoned so good with that sofrito chicken broth that I made, then the chicken broth that we bought. You guys, you taste the great, um, the peas, the carrots are fully defrosted, cooked, mushrooms are soft, nice grated cheese on top. It just comes together and this is a perfect dish for you to make for you and your family on game day, church night, or even, um, for the WWE WrestleMania. You know, summer's coming up, Coachella, all those live streams. So go ahead and make this for your family before it's too late because time just goes like that.